everybody, open-ended games here, bringing you the first modding tutorial on my YouTube channel. Now it's been a very long time since I've recorded, um, so I'm kind of coming back now. I'll be making very brief modding tutorials, but hopefully they will help you out in the long run. So the two programs you'll will be needing to mod Terraria is T-Edit 3, which is almost like a workshop to edit land, inventory, and other entities like that, and then you will be needing a save editor, Horizon. So I'm going to load up Horizon and show you what you got to do first. So once you see the Microsoft sign, will load up. Oh, what happened? Okay. So once that loads up you're going to see a sidebar called Device Explorer. You're going to want to pop that up. So what you're going to need is a USB. Now for most of the people who are very familiar and comfortable with modding 360 games, you usually put all your saves on a little micro flash drive, thumb drive, whatever you want to call it, and then just plug it into your computer. Once you do that, you'll hear a little sound of course, and then it'll load up your saves. So you go to Games, down for Terraria and then click on worlds. Now when you're transporting the save over you're going to want to transport characters and worlds and settings I think will transport automatically. Then double click on worlds, click on contents and then minimize it. We'll need it for later. Now both links as again as I've said before will be in the description. So now you're going to want to open up T-Edit and this program is actually, it's really sick, it's cool, it's easily accessible. Anybody, I think, who's new, I mean, it might be a bit overwhelming at first to see all the uh, the little knickknacks on the screen, but other than that, it's fairly easy to use. So, once you load it up, now one of the things you can't do is uh, edit an Xbox save. So, you don't even need to edit. all you have to do is just make a new save. So, you're going to click on File, and click on New. And now you could edit little things like your name, your seed, uh, certain customizables of the word world. Sorry, I'm gonna name my world Terraria 360 or <laughs> Terraria. Okay. So now I recommend really lowering the width on your world so it's really easy to find whatever you want. Um, it will be flat. But I think there's some way to change that. I'm not exactly sure at the moment. This uh, editor is fairly new to me. I only know really how to do edit sprites and some blocks. But mostly this video is just to show you guys how to edit your inventory. So once you load it up, you could zoom in. And the big S, mini mark, is uh, your spawn point, of course. So then you could kind of do a little bit of a zoom up. Okay, so to put a chest down, you're going to click on Sprite, then go to Sprites. Then go to the filter bar, and instead of scrolling all the way down, type in Shadow Chest, or any other regular chest, I guess, that you guys want, and you can choose from any certain ones. So once you click on that, you'll see that we now are holding a chest, so put it down. Alright, so now you want to edit it. You want to edit the inventory. Click on the little arrow, right click, and once you do that, now you could actually edit the whole inventory. I usually do a max of maybe five or six items. So for instance, let's say you want, and all the items here are all the items you can get in the game. So it really is, it really is a lot. Um, 
I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, but I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, you can really find any item. So, for instance, let's say you want, I don't know, a skull lantern, and then you could kind of edit the quantity. So let's say I want you know, 90 of those. And then let's say, for some reason, I want I want angel wings. Right? It's very customizable. And then just press in, I don't know, like 10. And then you could go to the most powerful sword in Terraria, from what I know, Excalibur. And, um, you find that. Yep. Press 1. And then these little notations right here, if you press them, you could actually choose the status of that certain piece of armor or equipment. And there are a bunch. So let's say we choose Godly, because that, that seems pretty sick. So you can do that. Once you're done with that, you click Save. You could also edit Signs, um, and it's really cool. If you have a PC save, guys, you're really going to love it. Um, I'll do a more in-depth video one day when I'm playing Terraria, and uh, most of you will definitely like it. It's a very cool, neat save editor. And I hope you guys enjoy the video, but there's still a bit more. And I'm going to show you actually how to transport it over. So now you're going to go to File, go to Save As. And for me, I've already monitored Terraria a good amount of time, so I'm just going to type in. If you have like a World 1 or World 0, type in the number going after so it's more easily, easily recognizable. So I'm going to type in World 14. Then you can save it to your desktop to make it easily traversable. There you go. So now we could X this out. We're done. Go to Horizon. And now, here's where it, we wrap everything up. So you can see these are your worlds. Click on World 1. Go to Replace. Now, some people press Delete, then Inject, but I've actually encountered a lot of problems where there have been problems where it said, oh, the save doesn't match up. Wrong file. And, uh, you know, you don't really want that to happen. So just go to Replace. Simple as that. Go to your desktop. Look down. Up World 14. And then I'll say File Replace Successfully. So there we go. Right there. You already know it was successful. And then after that, you're going to want to save, rehash, and resign so that the file will stick to your memory unit and there will be no problems to encounter later on. Might take a bit of a while. There we go, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a very long time since I posted a video. Um, I'll keep them coming. <laughs> a lot of modding tutorials up ahead, maybe for Minecraft. I don't know. Just give me some feedback, and I'll go along with that. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.